Okay, I went over your plans, and I think I get the idea. It's pretty mind-boggling, but it could work. We need to improvise here and there. I found some scrap metal to roughly model a frame for the device. Let's get it started then. I'm afraid there are a few integral components that need to be swapped in though. Okay, what are we looking for? First, we need a source of energy. A very strong source. Second, a particle accelerator. That's going to be a tough nut to crack. Third, a potent coolant. The whole thing could blow up otherwise. Number four. Last but not least, an interface to control the device. Any kind of peripheral will do. Okay, how do we begin? The order doesn't really matter. I'll go to the village. Maybe I can find some substitutes for the missing parts. Good, just bring them over. I'm sure I can patch them together somehow. Let's do this. Thank you, Hans. I'd already be dead if it wasn't for you. Oh, you. It wasn't that bad. You are awesome. I just wanted you to know that I'm eternally grateful to have met you. All things considered, dying may not be as bad as I always thought it might be. Don't you say that! Even if I don't make it, you need to stop her. Promise? I'm beginning my search right now. What's that gooey stuff? Is that your blood? Oh, my body is disintegrating. What do you mean? It is the effect one has to bear when staying in another dimension for too long. Does it hurt? Yes. I wanted to return your fishing rod. Good! Did you get a bite? Kind of. There is a lot going on in this lake, I can tell you, Professor. Just the other day, I caught a red herring this big. <laughs> So, uh, let me take a look for your pawned item. Ah, there you are. Here's your whistle. Whistle? Well, yes, your whistle. This is not my whistle. Not your whistle? Of course this is your whistle, your whistle. <laughs> I'm sure I'd recognize this whistle. If it were my whistle, I left you something completely different. Right. Mm -hmm. What was it then? A traveler's check for over 100 Deutschmark. You little rascal. As I said, here is your whistle, Mr. Tenhauser. Hmm. Thanks. There's a brown tube inside. I could use it for the quantum discriminator. The kid will be traumatized for her entire life if I just disassemble her only friend. I don't think I can do this. Hi, Lainey. What's cracking? They are sharing the Great Twilight Area Celebration Marathon today. 12 hours of bliss in a row. They are having the ever so riveting town fair outside. Wouldn't you like to go out to the real world once in a while? The real world is in there. Can't you see? But there is ice cream and cotton candy waiting outside. I'll think about it. But for now, I need to keep on watching. Truda? So, Professor, did you take a look-see around the area? You could definitely say so. You may call off the police. Uh, how come? I've got my notes back. But the inspector is already on his way. Then just call him off in person if he's early. As you wish. Does the name Lazarus Taft ring a bell with you? Taft? Oh, yes, indeed. Doppelkopf player, if you ask me. He's a sham. Ripped my guests off to the last penny. Shady type. You better not get involved with him. Oh, well, I think I already... Well, ah, never mind. I'll be leaving then. Make yourself at home, Mr. Tenhauser. Their collective weight is almost breaking the antenna. 
Mr. Tannhauser? Step right up. Hello. How do you know my name? It's a small town. Penelope Hades. My sister and I run the boat rental over at the lake. How much for a ticket? One ticket, 50 Phoenix. But I'm afraid all tickets have been sold. Bummer. I'm sorry. So, are there any prizes? Our first prize is an all-day boat ride on the Trube Lanka. I'll be leaving then. The mere thought of cotton candy makes me shiver. The real thing is just gross. Out of competition. It's a shooting gallery for kids. Patience, just a moment, pal. Baron? Mr. Tannhauser, good to see you. The pleasure is all mine. How is Claus doing? He is resting, my loyal Claus. Have you ever heard the name Lazarus Tuft? Tuft? Yes, a real good for nothing. It's not that I don't like strangers, especially if they come as tourists to my beautiful triple book, but uh, I was suspicious of this uh, Mr. Taft uh, right from the beginning. If you ask me, you better not mingle with him. Oh, well, I think I already... Well, I need to be on my way. Until next time, Mr. Tannhauser. I'll have a cone of roasted almonds, please. A cone of roasted almonds, right away. There you are, sir. Step right up! Step right up! Wanna put your bronze to the test? Bronze? Right, all right. That was, ooh, not so bad. Just between the two of us. You could use a little dose of vitamins, don't you think? Always remember, a healthy body equals a healthy mind. Arr, beautiful here, ain't it? Very. What's a sailor man doing out here in the sticks? Well, I don't like water that much. I'm just so happy to be here with both of my feet on dry land. But aren't those stereotypical sailor's clothes you were wearing? So? So you have a fear of water? Aye. Thalassophobia. It all started when I was a little boy, back home, on a sweet summer's day. I was swimming in the lake when my Uncle Ulf suddenly cannonballed in. I will always remember these two massive cheeks rapidly closing in. To be honest, it's still haunting me today. I nearly drowned back then. <clears throat> Later I realized that was the day I developed this terrible, terrible fear of everything deeper than a puddle. What happened to your leg? Well. That happened on my second job at the Piano Transportation Company. I don't really want to go into details, but thanks to the mercy of a rueful instrument manufacturer, I got me this nice new leg. And due to a timely taken disability insurance, I now may enjoy a quite decent invalidity pension. Far away from the stormy sea. That's a nice story. Or is it a sad story? I can't decide. I think I'm needed elsewhere. Take care! That's a ticket for the raffle. This must be my lucky day. Step right up! Every ticket's a winner! No blanks! Guaranteed! Our first prize is an all-day boat ride on the Trube Lanka. See? I found a ticket. Now look at that. You're a lucky fella. Now let's see what fortune has in store for you. Are you ready? This is your prize. A can of... cat food. 
generously provided by the Trüberbrook Advertisers Association. Oh my. Thanks, I guess. Well, enjoy!